Hello! Welcome to A Girl, A Drink, and A Game. Here we are playing our second episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I do hope you enjoy. Uh, you can also find me on YouTube, Girl, A Drink, and A Game. Please do subscribe, like, and share, and please comment as well. I really enjoy comments. Alright, so we started off with a new character, Estrella Black. And she is in Hufflepuff. She just got sorted and then sent to her common room. And that's it. As far as we've gotten. So let's start a new day. This is a pretty cool common room. So if you haven't watched episode one... Um, I have played this game before. I have done a little bit as my very first character, which is a Ravenclaw. And then I did pretty much the whole game as a Slytherin. And now I am starting with you guys as a Hufflepuff. Ooh, the house ghost. And a cupcake. This is a cool common room. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. I can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... being that far behind. I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, You'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hardworking too, as you might suspect. Sometimes oh, isn't she a little passive aggressive? Oh, passive aggressive. Wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. All right, we got two more introductions to me. Oh, got you don't need to be right. frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No. One of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them. Especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Vodruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. 
All right, one more. Ooh, let's spin this. Yeah. I love spinning the globes. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Is so the having out of bed yet? played this already, outside the common room? I actually know that her uncle uh, is not so okay. That's going to come into play later in a mission. Um, but as the other characters, you didn't get to hear about that until it was actually time to do that mission. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. If only books really did that. That would be so cool. And scary. Very scary. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I also Thank wish I could Professor. just magically tuck things under my arm. Keep track of what I'm learning. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Dun dun dun. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Ooh, I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Go for me. Oh, apparently not. Sorry, Mrs. Weasley. Professor Weasley, I should say. Ooh, an apple. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. House Elf Recipe Book. Hmm. My handy dandy field guide. Ooh, one percent. That's exciting. Look at that.
I have many more field guide pages to collect. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Even in the game that I completed the storyline in, I still haven't collected all of the pages. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. All right. Got the little flag. Oh. Travel. It is nice to fast travel, but there are also are. things that Quite the time saver. you yes, miss sir, if you're not walking around the castle. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. 
and invaluable that it will as i'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress yes professor come find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today and i'll explain more about those assignments i mentioned and we'll see if we can't get you to hogsmeade for those supplies all right i guess we'll talk to professor to fig you, professor. and you I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and mm -hmm. Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Mm -hmm. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Ooh! Enchantment! How exciting! So, the little yellow guys represent the main quests. And then, some quests are unlocked by level. New skills spells can be earned by completing assignments. You can track a quest with A. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I love that the uh, families. Ooh, look at that. I love that the families um, from the, you know, franchise are going back in time to this period such as the Ollivanders and the Weasleys and the Blacks and everything. It's it's nice that they connect those histories together. Every once in a while you just gotta throw a little roll in there. Ooh, we just unlocked another flute flame. Here are the ghosts. Ooh. Quest begin. Let's do charms class. Here. I think charms class here. would probably be one of my favorites. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. Yeah. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold 
with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? I think he would be a fun professor. Uh, 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 uh. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, let's learn Accio. Got a little wobble there, but we did it. Accio. Oh, that is one spell I wish that really existed. Bad, huh? You be so are nice. a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Field trip. Everybody loves a field trip. It was always nice in school when we'd get to have our class outside. For like whatever random reason. <laughs> we did it every once in a while in college. So our English always classes. Found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I wish I could just so do that with my landscaping out front. Us off. Hmm? Wave a wand, have it all just appear <laughs> and get all done. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like costumes, if you will. Very good! Yeah! 50 points! Ooh, ooh. Oh, I got another one. Can't get too excited yet. Why are you facing the wrong way? My goodness. That's it. Ooh, too strong. Oh. Excellent control stop, there. Stop, stop, stop. Oof. That one was close. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Competition. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. That is how it's done. All right, let's see if we can uh, make this happen. Stop, 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 stop. Dang it. I always go too far. Oh, it just like sinks into the ground. So depressing. Let's try this again. Yes! 
Okay, stop, stop. Ah! Okay. Oh, I swear I'm better at this. Oh, what a show off. There we go. At least it didn't fall off. <laughs> I got beat by a hundred points. Yeah, that wasn't even close. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What do you have for me? Oh, we have moving blocks <laughs> now. That's interesting at this point. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. That is how it's done. Don't hit it, don't hit it. God. No, no! Stay focused. So we're the fox. So we're getting let go in time. Nope, too far. Oh, stop, 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 stop! Ah. Oh. Okay, I did not expect that to stay on there, but I still lost. But I only lost my 10 points, not 100 points, so, you know. Improvement. Very good, both of you. Well done. Well, that was a pretty good first class, well I would say. Back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly. I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. <laughs> But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. So crazy. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. 
It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Aki on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Revenue. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectations. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Quest complete. Our very first quest. Let's go talk to this person. What's she doing? After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything to find in here. Mm, level one lock. Can't get up there yet. Revelia. All right. Well, it says we have a new Hello there. You're quest new available. Is it possible to become an aura and not excel in potions? I think it's all about demeanor. Ooh, there's a chest up there. Having a commanding stature. All right, let's see. Ooh, we can ask you that. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Peeves. Say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, oh Peeves. Fight, fight. The attack. Was the minister of Boot or the minister of Flack? All right, let's see. Ooh, side quests are now available. Very exciting. All right, let's see. What the quest? We have the defense against the dark arts class. We're gonna do that next time, I think. Um, let's check out. Aha! We get to claim our first reward. We got new gloves. Our next reward is four complete four main story quests. All right, um, let's check out our field guide pages. We completed the first one. We got some regalia spectacles and we're working towards some gloves after we collect eight more. Um, let's see what we have over here. Here's our gear. So, don't really have much of anything yet. We have black leather gloves we can wear. We have gold rimmed spectacles. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass on the hat. Doesn't quite go with my style. Not feeling that scarf either. All right. Well, I think this is where we are going to leave it today. Thank you for adventuring with me. 
Uh, these are the things we unlocked. We unlocked the appearances, so we can change the appearance of our gloves to look like the legendary ones, or change the appearance of our glasses to look like these. Um, I do appreciate you coming along on this journey with me. Um, be sure to find me on both Twitch and YouTube. Uh, girl, a drink and a game on YouTube and Household 689 on Twitch. And please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get notified, be sure to hit that bell so you see when I have new videos coming out. Um, I do love having you guys here. I love when you guys comment. It just makes me super happy. I read every single comment, so be sure to do so. And that's all I got. So cheers, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.